And if you put a uh, group of kids, even though they're young, on a netball court, so you're teaching them the fundamentals of the, the game, netball, how to move into space, to pass, to balance, all, all of the, the fundamental movement skills that are required. Uh, but at the same time, halfway through a game, if you remove the goalposts and watch them just try and carry on, it's hilarious. Because <laughs> they get to the point pretty quick where they realise it's pointless. There's no point to the game any longer. So you can't just play a game by throwing the ball around to each other and keeping it away from the opposition. It gets boring pretty quick. And so there you've created a teachable moment mm. using that context. And they can dialogue on that later about that other game called life. So what would that feel like if there was no goal for you to actually fix your eyes on? And I think, you know, then to develop that further um, and say, well, in netball, the other skill that you need is to defend. Because if you don't defend your goal and the other team gets a point through, uh, that's failure. Mm. It's not fatal final, though. You don't chuck your toys and give up. You go back to the centre court, you line up in your positions and you go again. But what would it feel like, young man, if at some point in your life you'd failed to really defend the things that you should have, made a mistake, tripped up, whatever, and you had to start again, but there was no goal at the other end of your life for you to, to have purpose in life and aim at. 